Hi everyone, it's Shea here from EK Bros and today we'll be continuing in our Scratch series. We'll be continuing where we left off in the previous episode and in this video we'll be talking about how to move a sprite using coordinates and directions. When using Scratch, there are two different ways to move a sprite, coordinates and directions. When we use coordinates, they can pinpoint the location where you want to move a sprite. In directions, you can move 10 steps, 15 steps, 50 steps, or even 100 steps. There are lots of ways to move directions. So let's get our hands to the computer and start coding. As I said in the introduction, We'll be learning how to move a sprite using coordinates and directions. So let's go into that. I'll go into my profile so I can open YouTube project one. Here it is. First, I want to show you how to move with coordinates. So let's get go to X and Y. If you look at this sprite now, the coordinates here, X is zero and so is Y. So if I change the zero on X to, let's say, 31, and I change the Y to minus 70. And if I click this, let's see what happens. The cat has moved a different position. And if I click this, zero, click this, zero, it'll go to the middle. That's really interesting about coordinates. Um, as you saw, um, it doesn't. It kind of like teleports to the position you want it to go. But if I grab a different block, um, uh, where is it? Yeah, glide to x and y. Let's say glide to eighty-seven of x, and let's say glide to twelve of y. And if I click this. See, it glides instead of teleporting. So that's really interesting. And in you can also make it go to random positions. See, if I keep clicking it, it'll just um, teleport to random positions. And if I get the glide, it will glide to random positions. Next, I want to move on to directions. Directions can use um, let me just grab it, 10 steps, you can also change the steps, let's say 50, and the cat will move further, let's drag it back here, then if we use 10, 15 degrees to the right and to the left, let's say we change to the right to 30, and keep to the left at 15, so let's see what happens, if I click it, it'll turn more, but if I click the left, then it'll turn less. And if you go to control and you grab this forever loop, when you put move 10 steps in it, cl we'll click it and see what happens. The cat is stuck in a loop and it'll just keep moving 10 steps forever. It'll just keep going yeah and you can stop your project with them um, the stop icon next i want to do the same with coordinates so grab the forever loop coordinates okay say glide to zero Zero, zero. Click this loop. If I keep moving it away from the middle, it'll just keep going back. So that's um, another thing about coordinates. Basically, that's how to move a sprite in Scratch using directions and coordinates. This cat is not the only thing you can move. If I go to the sprite options, you can see all these sprites you can move. 
so many of them as long as they're in the sprite option you can move them so and you could take a photo of yourself upload it in scratch and move that as well that would be interesting so everyone just to wrap it up i hope you found this video useful if you did leave a like and hit the subscribe button and i'll catch you later